Ok, guys, you're today, pre-fine, social and recibiste las instrucciones. Protect yourself, protégete todo el tiempo. Buena suerte, good luck, let's go. Bringing Rocky Juarez home to the draw with Chris John in the first fight. Marquez's trainer, Nacho Beristain, was the man who handled Oscar De La Hoya. He... Good straight left hand by Diaz, and the chopping left hook in the corner. And another left hook, backs up Marquez against the ropes. The face of Diaz's aggression. Diaz showing respect, but ripping Marquez with another left hook. Three body shots from Marquez. Diaz goes in with the right hand. This is going to be a hellacious war. Unlike a lot of fights between a younger and older fighter, in this case, the early rounds seem to favor Diaz, where he can take over with his energy and volume punching. It's his way into the fight. Remember, down three times against Pacquiao in the... To hit Marquez for the most part. I thought, well, I, I thought this is what we just see starting about the fourth round, but not in the first round. Maybe he's already making adjustments. Well, Diaz has great brain power. He's used it throughout his learning curve in the ring. Not to mention the well-known cultural Mexican tradition of willing to mix it up. And are they ever? Big left hook by Diaz. Marquez trying to fire back. Lands a right cross and a left hook. Round one is an all-out war. Punching straight through the middle with punches where he's really exerting his weight. And, it, and even though they weighed in the same, and I guess tonight... It's been amazing to behold. So don't expect much of a slowdown. Anything, if he gets his chance, now the pace slows a little bit in the second round. I get the hunch that Marquez is going to need to stay off the ropes, Emmanuel. Yes, and I don't think he's going to do that. And the way that Diaz is punching, he's got his head down more, where he's getting better leverage in the exchanges, and Marquez's head is up more. This crowd is on its feet already, and they may be on their feet all the way. Big left hook, staggers Marquez. Marquez in trouble and trying to fight his way out of it. Marquez might have been gone right there. It was an unbelievable shot. You saw that instinct that I mentioned from Morales, and, and I think Marquez has the same thing inside him. In fact, if you wanted to find a comparison for what round one looked like, it looked like a round out of a Morales Barrera fight. And so does this one. They're both going to land more than 30 punches in the round. Big left took by Diaz, straight right hand by Marquez. Diaz jabbing and hunting. Marquez going to the body and coming back up. You can be sure the Marquez is going to find him. They supremely intelligent. Yes. Fighters. Excellent reflexes and very good punching power. But you have to wonder about those reflexes at the age of 35. <laughs> and particularly given the wars he's been in. They go off the diving board all at once. But he's looked really good in the first couple rounds against a guy who's looked just a tiny bit better. Good straight jabs by Marquez there, momentarily stopping Diaz in his tracks. And tracks they are, as Juan stalks and stalks. This is the Juan Diaz that had the boxing world buzzing before his loss to Nate Campbell. What a win! What determination! So Marquez is landing punches, but punches just as good sometimes. Good right hand by Marquez. Real fighters love this. They love this kind of competition. I remember the last time I saw three judges go out of the draw. Very, very rare. Back to this fight. Juan Diaz keeps walking him down, landing clean, hard, effective shots. And when he gets Marquez on the ropes, Marquez seems to lose his head and stand there and slug with Diaz. And that's how Diaz wants to fight. Juan Diaz landed more clean shots just like he's doing right there. Three to nothing, Diaz. You know, I understand that score, and Diaz is imposing his kind of fight. Harder punches. Well, I think he might be a harder puncher, but of course, Diaz, as we pointed out, is by nature the bigger man. He needs to, whenever he sees Marquez, I mean, Diaz throwing a hook, and he's a block it, and shoot his counter hook at the exact same time. Diaz has been brilliant so far at finding those moments when Marquez's right hand is slightly dropped. He's
landed several plus left hooks. Yeah, and he gets maximum level. He hunches his body forward in a Joe Frazier type style, where his left hook has tremendous force because he has his weight leaning right into the position. Where a four punch counter punch combination. Awesome stuff. Should a fight like this even be scored? Just let him fight to the finish. 38 out of 96 as opposed to towards the end of that round. I agree with you, Mark. Marquez is landing a lot of clean effective combinations, particularly at the end of the round. But they were able to establish. <laughs> Imposing his will against Marquez on the ropes. Now Marquez will look to land a three or four point combination, and he nails Diaz with two uppercuts in a row. Both from the left side. Straight right hand down the pipe by Diaz. Lands twice in a row. Whoever throws more body punches may ultimately be the winner in the fight. Well, I tell you what, this is going to be a tough fight by the What a huge left hook by Diaz. You rarely see all those elements combined. Big in a body fight. shot by Marquez. And I had to break these guys up for one clinch at all that I can. Remember. I didn't even know he was in the ring. No, nope, they're just fighting their way straight through the fight. No clinches, a fast pace, hard shots. It was in 2003, I believe. On our competing, a competitor network, Showtime. One difference. Good left hook by Diaz again, and a right hand at the end of the round by Marquez. Marquez has been cut in that same spot before. And Joel Casamayor. Nacho Beristain has worked that cut before, and he was cut badly in the Campbell fight. But other than that, he's... Another big left hook by Diaz. Not been hit with any of those left hooks. And that's a sign of a very intelligent fighter. Marquez is landing most of the cleaner blows in those exchanges there. Diaz eats a hard right hand, lands a hard right hand, takes a hard right hand. Gonna stay off them ropes. When he goes on the ropes, Juan Diaz just pummels him like you're watching right here. When the fight goes into the center of the ring, Juan Manuel, Juan Manuel, but he ought to stay off the ropes. He's giving Diaz the advantage of that effective aggressiveness again, and using his size by going up on the ropes. Four to two, Juan Diaz. Here's an amazing statistic, guys. Against Juan Manuel Marquez than anybody has ever thrown against him. The sixth, something that Ronnie Shields noted in the corner. Ronnie hadn't had to work quite as hard here as he did in the Rocky Juarez. Straight right hands landing for Juan Manuel Marquez. Left hook, left hook, body shot. Left hook to the body, all by Juan Diaz. Now Marquez tries to come back. He's breathing past his mouth guard. And it looks as though the stamina advantage is beginning to show. Marquez has fought a bit with his mouth open since the third round. Uh, the pace is something, as you noted, Jim, that... Two straight right hands by Marquez. Two more big left hooks by Diaz. Drives Marquez back against the ropes. Lands a straight right hand of his own. 
Marquez trying to counter again. Diaz keeping the pressure on. He listened to Ronnie between rounds. He's not gonna let the Mexican rest. He has 34 out of 91. In January, it was a tremendous crowd in Staples Center in Los Angeles for Shane Mosley's whacking of Antonio Margarito. Now this, economic conditions, and now there's a cut outside Diaz's right eye. And the left uppercut from Marquez, which has been maybe his most effective punch. Along with the straight right hand. Strong rally in the first minute of the eighth round. There comes the uppercut again. Diaz isn't landing many of these. No. But he's asserting his energy again. Chavez did with Rocky Juarez his cut in the first fight. He'll have to go to work on Diaz That's between exactly rounds. Same thing with, you know, Marquez is fighting for the pound of his country. You know, even though they're both supposed to be Mexican right now, because he considers Diaz a half Mexican, because he's American Mexican. What action. This is amazing. Marquez is a good defensive fighter, but Diaz overwhelms his defense. Oh. And as the blood flows, the urgency level rises. Diaz did not respond well to the cut against Nate Campbell. He's cut in a similar kind of dire way here against Marquez. Well, we told you how Marquez adjusts yep. and comes Mar on. Oh, and Mar Mar Diaz got caught with a left hook, and he looks stunned. Can Let the great technician find yeah. a way? But I don't know if Diaz can help that, because he has not had that type of experience. He's the more accurate puncher. And what an amazing adjustment Marquez made, Emmanuel, in about the yeah. third or fourth round to find that uppercut. And you, right now, see you, know, you know, it's interesting when Diaz had his first professional fight, he was in Mexico. Phil said he never would dream at that time, especially being that he was only 16, that he would end up fighting. With so warm, so personable. They're taunting each other in the window. Yeah. <laughs> In between all of us, the rep, because they when don't know the When if he stops it, it'll be the first thing he's done in the fight. Though Marquez is the much more experienced, in fact, it's Diaz who's had more experience fighting at this pace over the course of the fight. And he's 10 years younger. And he's fighting in his hometown. And he's supposedly the stronger man. And he's he hurt. Yeah. A huge uppercut. Down goes Diaz. Well, let's see something because he doesn't know how to clinch. Can he make a very brave Juan Diaz will probably go back to fighting. A spirit fighter would probably clinch, but I don't think that's what he's going to do. And look at Marquez go to the body. Look at him go to the body to try to set up the finish. And what a right hand. And that will be that. What you just saw was a really good young fighter knocked out by a great old fighter. Absolutely. And a straight right hand, and then the uppercut produced that first knockdown. The second knockdown is really almost a formality on a brilliant right uppercut. The winner by knockout victory, Still Ring Magazine, world champion, and now WBA, WBO, and IBO unified, lightweight champion of the world, Juan Manuel Dinamita.